Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we will take a look at the new Node.js Manager module in the CWP Admin Panel. You can access the Node.js Manager from the dashboard by going to the menu sidebar and opening the Web Server Settings submenu, then select Node.js Manager. Alternatively, you can type Node in the navigation search field to filter the available options and select the Node.js Manager module here. This opens the Node.js Manager. The Node.js engine is a suite of tools which CWP has combined to allow you to deploy and run scalable network applications in various Node.js versions quickly and easily. The first time you open the module, you'll see a warning that the CWP Node.js Application Manager is not installed. To install the CWP Node.js engine, click Install Now. And within a minute, you'll see your new Node.js Applications list, which is currently blank. You can also click on the Configurations tab to see a list of installed versions of Node.js, which is also currently blank. And on the side, you have the option to uninstall CWP Node.js tools, which will remove the whole CWP Node.js engine along with any Node.js applications. Any domains pointing to a Node.js application will be restored to their default configuration. To start, first we'll install some Node.js versions. Click Install Now to see a list of available versions. Unless you have a specific requirement, it's generally recommended to select the latest version that is marked LTS for long-term support. LTS release lines focus on stability, extended support, and provide a reliable platform for applications of any scale. These will all have an even-numbered version. Odd-numbered versions only receive short-term support and are intended to allow library vendors time to test and implement new features in their tools in advance of the next major LTS release. With the CWP Node.js engine, you are free to install multiple versions for use with various applications. You can check the box for the version you want to install, select several, or check this box to install all versions. Then click Install Selected. You'll see a progress bar letting you know that the installation is in progress. It only takes a moment, and while you're waiting, you can click View Log to see the Node.js installation log. When complete, the screen refreshes in the background and we can click Close to close the Log Viewer window. And now we can see all the installed Node.js versions in the configuration pane. In this case, since we installed several, let's select the latest LTS version and set it as default. As we create applications assigned to each version, the app quantity for each will be displayed in the table. Under the Actions column, we have options to copy the directory path or delete the version. Note that you cannot delete the default version without first assigning another version as the default. Now that we've successfully installed Node.js, we can return to the Applications tab and click either blue button to create a new app. First, we're required to select a user account for the app. Then select a Node.js version. Since we installed so many and the LTS versions are not indicated, it's handy to remember that even-numbered versions are the ones that receive long-term support, so we'll select the latest even-numbered version. Now we'll give our app an identifying name. In this case, we'll call it Hello World. Next, we'll select an application mode to add a value for the node environment variable, either development or production. The production environment generally ensures that logging is kept to a minimum essential level and more caching levels take place to optimize performance, so we'll select Production. Next, we must set the physical path to the location where the application is stored on the server. We can click the box to choose the base path for the subdomain, select a folder, and click Choose Current Path. Next, we'll specify the startup file name, in this case index.js. And optionally, we can input the URI which will link the application by binding a domain or subdomain from the drop-down list and specifying the port where the application will run, 
and the port will be added to the environment variables. If we need to add any other environment variables, we can click the bar to add the specific key and value. We also have options to delete the variable or add more. When we're done making our application inputs, we can either cancel or save our changes. This saves our new app to our applications list, where we can see the app name, Node.js version, directory path, status, and mode. Under the Actions column, we have options to edit the app, start running the app, delete the app, or view the application log. To edit the app, click the blue gears icon. Here we can refer to and make any changes to the app settings. In addition, we also have options at the top to install Node Product Manager, start the app, or view the log. To install NPM, simply click the yellow button and NPM installs in just a few seconds. When it's complete, we can close the log window. New apps are automatically created with a status of stopped. To run the application, click the green button to start the app. We'll see a confirmation that the app has started successfully and we're offered new actions to stop or restart the application. We can also view the application log file. And that's how to use the new Node.js manager in CWP. For more information, please refer to the following links. Thank you for using Control Web Panel.